What a beautiful day out here in Japan. Today I'm going to experience two things that I absolutely love at once. Japan and street food. Well, I've traveled a long way from Korea, so I'm only going to settle for the best of the best street foods in Tokyo. And it's looking like I found just the right place. So where should you go for the best street food experience in Tokyo? Well, I believe the best place might be Tsukiji Market. Tsukiji Market is a retail marketplace where they sell seafoods and all kinds of other local produces. No way. I thought wasabi grows in a tube. But more importantly for us, they have possibly the most vibrant street food scene in Tokyo. So what are we waiting for? Let's go see what it's like. <laughs> 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 Haven't had any food today. Why don't I start with something light? People are lined up for this place. Whatever this is, this has got to be good. I think their most popular item here is Maguro Menchikatsu. Menchikatsu is one to Kaki, hi. Kaki is one to And negi is one to There you go. <laughs> so there was about $8.30 total. It's not like I got a ton of food, but I feel like that's very reasonably priced. By the way, most of these places are cash only, so bring your hard-earned Japanese money. Alright, why don't I start with the oysters? And my god, these are one of those depressingly small oysters that look like they want to be K-pop stars. They were some thick, fat oysters. The kind that I like to put in my mouth. Check this out. It looks like that's corn, potato, and some green onion. I liked how each of the pieces were very different. I think my favorite might have been this potato. Super crunchy. There's like a little savory touch, but it's not too salty, which I really like. I also gotta say, there's something really cool about using these bamboo sticks. I don't know about you guys, I think that's pretty cool. And please, allow me to have this uh, maguro menchikatsu. It's like tonkatsu, but with tuna. So this isn't like chungso tuna, it's more like ground tuna with some onions in there. Alright, this is a cute introduction to the market, but it's time to get serious. Well, how about some good sake that they double boil for you on the spot? I may look like a teenager with lots of dreams and a bright future, but I'm actually old enough. Nothing less than good alcohol to wake me up in the morning. I'm an artistic person, I need to get inspired too. Stronger than I thought. Wow, it's so warm. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they sell this by cups. Now it's almost like four dollars a cup, so I wouldn't say this is like a great deal, but it's just kind of a cool experience. With more alcohol in my blood, now I feel more inspired, more confident, and more likely to become a domestic abuser. Wow, is this how my father always felt? It honestly feels kind of dope. I gotta say, some places in the market had way too many people and it was like impossible to get in. I would love to try those places too, but I only have so much time in life. But that's what makes life beautiful, you know? The limited nature of it. And us powerless humans, we just try to make the best out of it. After staying in Japan for 3 days, I've officially become an epic wise Asian man. Oh Jesus, the lines are getting out of control. Look at all these people. It turns out they were lining up for this tamagoyaki. A Japanese egg omelette. This gentleman really knows what he's doing. It looks beautiful. Whoa. And guess what? It's only like 75 cents for one of these. Don't you guys think it looks quite gorgeous? Whoa. I can't believe that this is only a dollar. Wow. What I really like is that there's a touch of sweetness to it that I really like. Really high quality stuff, affordable yet great. Those two words, they don't really come together very often. Now I feel like investing a little more money for absolute best quality this time. How about some good Wagyu beef skewer? When they charge over $20 for a single skewer, this better be good. They also have this A5 Wagyu soup for 800 yen. Looks like they do have a few more affordable options here. But I just really wanted to have that Wagyu skewer. The worker was curious about my YouTube channel, so I showed him my account. That's me. That's you. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you. Oh, I believe this is my first A5 Wagyu experience. Now, I'm the kind of guy that likes purity when it comes to high quality food. It looks like it's already been salted and peppered. So I'm just going to have it as is. I haven't seen a more beautiful piece of meat than this other than myself, of course. Whoa, okay. Look how this meat's like jiggling around the skewer, like jelly. $25 a skewer, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I wouldn't have this every day, but it's definitely worth it. Seriously, the beef had so much marbling in it. It was like the cow was only fed with McDonald's every day. It's like they've never worked out. Now I have a hard time imagining something that is even better than this. Wow. But maybe, maybe the next place is better. That looks pretty unbelievably good. I'm gonna have to get one. Now one thing that I have to say is that everywhere I go, there's quite a lot of people. One thing that I'm happy to tell you guys is that so far I haven't experienced a place where I waited and thought it wasn't worth the wait. Everything so carefully placed. Can we agree that it looks crazy good? Uni and this salmon roll. Wow, just, just can't wait. Hold on. Couldn't really find a good place to eat this, but allow me, guys. I'm gonna start with the uni part. With a single bite, the uni's gone. This is really good uni. And really good sushi rice, too. Each time I get salmon roll in Japan, I get impressed each and every time. Like barely any fishy flavor to it. My experience in Korea and the US, salmon eggs tend to be like a little too fishy, so I never really get them. In Japan, it's like one of my favorite things to get. Now that single piece was about $10. In terms of the portion, it wasn't that much. But if you think about the quality and what goes into it, I feel like $10 is a pretty fair price. I mean, I'd get it again. So I wanted to get more food, but I feel like I left something behind. I came back with this solo in rice. That's gotta be really good. Ah, I got the Ah, Thank you. Now I was very impressed with their Wagyu skewer, so I actually came back for more solo in rice. It's a little cheaper, so it's gotta be worth it. Oh, don't try to deny it. That looks great. And when I was about to eat, some people wanted to say hi to me. Where are you guys from? Maui, 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 Take this and send me a message later. I have your photo. So I'll send <laughs> thank it to you. you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Jimmy Kim. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, children. You all are famous now. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Very insanely impressed. So $30 for a skewer, I understand that's a lot of money, but please do yourself a favor, get this for $10, it's amazing. Just like Wagyu, Korea has their own premium beef called Hanu. Uh, I, I do think they're equally as good, except if I had to be honest, I think the marbling of the Wagyu beef, it's slightly more pleasant compared to Hanu. I think I'm gonna have to go get some desserts now. Oh, no way, they have a cigarette vending machine. How come they didn't have this good stuff when I was in high school? Just kidding guys, I'm a pretty bad guy. I still don't smoke. That's like really bad people's stuff. Well, that looks like a pretty good dessert to me. Strawberry candy. I love strawberries. Cause you know why? It's just like us people. Look at it on the outside. It looks nice. If you look closely, it looks kind of disgusting. But you know what? At the end of the day, we love them. You put them in your mouth. Hold on, why is, why is it so hard? I thought it was like kind of soft. This is like completely caramelized. 
Wait, how are you supposed to eat this? Oh. Just me personally, I think it's a little too sweet. Now that I had the dessert, I feel like I can go have some more food. Well, how about I try this maguro yaki? Time, I think I'm gonna get one each. It's a baked dessert that's pretty much the same thing as taiyaki of Japan or bungabang in Korea. These were just a lot more expensive. I think that's the one that has the red bean paste. Allow me. It looks very much like Korean bungabang. It's got this really sweet red bean paste in there. The better kind of tastes really bland. Um, I would say this is pretty good. Uh, I had it for a lot less money in Korea. Uh, it tastes very similar. Now this time, let me try the custard flavored one. Oh, that feels like very dense, thick cream. Look how the cream's not runny. It's holding together really well. I definitely like this one a lot more than the red bean. And guys, this is everything that I had in Tsukiji Market. What did you guys think? Well, I thought it was really worth a visit. It's very close from the city center. And in just this one place, there's so many different foods that you can try. And unlike other touristy places, you can actually expect top-notch quality. Whoa, wow. What a fantastic day, meeting lots of great people. I wouldn't say that these are affordable, but just considering how good they are in general, I thought they were reasonably priced. There's gonna be more videos from Japan, so stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to the gentleman who took these photos for me. I'll link his page in the description.